luck. I just finished a complete interior and exterior detailing on my W220S500 here. And you have to admit, this looks pretty nice. There's nothing like a black car that is highly detailed. And it's not easy because when you're dealing with black paint, you got to get all the scratches out for it to look right. And this requires you to use a power buffer and the right compounds to get it looking like this. And then when we finished, we coated the whole thing with acrylic works. We did the leather conditioning in the interior and cleaned that up thoroughly. And now we're going to tackle the engine compartment next. But something I want to tell you, when we were waxing the car here, I noticed I had some very small, very slight, you know, scratches in the windshield from windshield wipers. It's very common. So I thought, okay, we're not done yet. I got to bring out my glass polish kit and go to town. Now, one thing you need to realize if you're going to attempt this, don't assume that it's going to fix every problem with your windshield. I had one guy get all upset with me because my glass polish kit would not polish out pits in the glass. <laughs> okay, whatever. Well, the test is you have a windshield with some scratches in it. You take your fingernails, you know, if you have to get the glove off, and run your fingernails across 90 degrees to those scratches. If your fingernail catches in the groove, you won't be able to polish it out. You may be able to make it look better. It won't be quite so obvious. But it's only those very fine scratches. Remember, glass is not like paint. You can't just get a power buffer and just buff away on it. You could buff away on glass forever with automotive polishing compound for paint, and it would never do anything. It takes a very special compound. So let me show you now how we went about this, and I'll show you up close the end result. If you're gonna polish your windshield, you wanna cover the car, because it does make a mess. We're using the special compound and the multi-tool high speed to polish out these scratches that were produced by windshield wipers. The reason he's holding a hypodermic syringe in his left hand is that we use that to apply a little bit of water while polishing the glass. That keeps the compound from drying out and reduces heat because you do not want to overheat the glass when doing this. <laughs> Look at that. There's nothing like being able to see out your windshield when you're driving into the sun. So if you want to try this kit on your own windshield, a couple things I want to point out here. And by the way, this kit works great for those hard water spots, both on the windshield and on the side windows that get on the glass over time, I think primarily due to acid rain, and you can't get those water spots off. They're just, <laughs> you tried polish, polish. So this kit will also work for that type of problem on both the windshield and the side windows, even the rear window, if that's a problem, water spotting, you know, heavy, heavy water spotting. So I offer this kit in two versions. One, it comes with the supplies. This is everything you need, including the syringe to add water while you're polishing. So you can buy just this if you have your own multi-tool or you can buy it together as a deluxe kit with the multi-tool included. Now some of you may say, well Kent, why do you use a multi-tool? Maybe you've seen a video on YouTube where somebody is polishing their glass with a orbital or round drill with a circular disc. Well here's the reason I don't like that and it's also the reason why I like the multi-tool. Number one, the multi-tool runs at a higher speed in terms of oscillations, where you're just going like this with a disc. The multi-tool is going about 20,000, you know, back and forth. So you get a lot more rubbing ability from a multi-tool, if I can say that. The other thing is the multi-tool doesn't sling junk all over the place. <laughs> you try this with a disc, you can't believe. You better wear a shop coat or some old clothes. You'll have this compound, this special compound will get everywhere and it's hard to get off. And that's one of the reasons why I covered the car with plastic. You get this down in vent holes, you get it on your wiper blades. You got to take a half hour to clean it all off because this is kind of a messy operation. Number three, the reason I prefer the multi-tool, it doesn't overheat the glass like a disc will. 
And this is something you have to be real careful about. If you get the glass hot, you can affect the lamination, and you'll have a problem. <laughs> and then your windshield will have to be replaced. So using the multi tool will give you those three advantages. Once again, you can purchase just the kit with the compounds if you have your own multi tool. This is pretty much the standard universal type multi tool with the four little pins here. If you have a fine tool, it will not work or some other exotic brand, but just the run of the mill multi tool with this type of attachment will work fine with this kit. So I think you'll be pleased with the results. It's not a miracle worker for all windshield glass problems. Okay, just remember that. It will take out those fine scratches and it can polish the windshield so it looks like new again.